Hello, today I'm going to show my solo camper build of my Transit Connect. This is a 2010 XLT passenger that I bought brand new in 2000, the fall of 2009. Uh, I got 90,000 miles on it now, um, and I just am finishing up with a two week, over 2,000 mile trip. Um, so I removed the passenger seats, which are incredibly easy. It took just me about 30 minutes to remove them. They're not held in with very many bolts. And then I also removed the seat belts. Uh, this vehicle is mostly used to haul two kids around, um, but now I'm using it as a solar cam solo camper for myself, but I will convert it back into a passenger vehicle now that I'm done with this trip. So as you can see, I put in a bed. Um, Put this, made this bed myself relatively quickly. Um, took about three hours to make it or so. Um, I used two by fours and some 12 millimeter uh, plywood uh, for the top. Um, the bed itself is actually only held into the vehicle with two bolts. I can show them to you right underneath here. Uh, those two bolts right there. Um, and if you want to see on the other side, it's actually the mounting point for the uh, passenger seats uh, where they connect in in the back. Um, so if you have a cargo, it might not even have this piece, but for a passenger, it does. Um, I can't remember the exact size of these bolts, um, but it was pretty easy to find them at a, at a hardware store. And this works out perfectly for about a two by four. So this is the, this dictated the height of the bed that I had. Um, the bed itself is because I'm six foot five. Uh, the bed itself is six six long, uh, and then uh, two feet wide. Um, but uh, over two thousand miles of driving, uh, hundreds of miles on dirt roads, including a lot of washboard roads. Uh, the thing is totally solid. Uh, it doesn't move a, a bit. Um, I haven't removed it yet because I built it in the van. Um, but I plan to remove it and hopefully be able to uh, pop it back in whenever I want to do another solo trip like this. Um, as you can see, underneath I've got enough storage for stuff. I've got food, uh, equipment, uh, more food there. Um, happened to fit perfectly. I already had this cooler, but it fit just about perfectly in there. Uh, Pelican 50 quart. Um, says it holds ice for eight days, but it does hold ice for a little bit longer. You just got to keep on draining the water. Um, behind it, I've got my chair, which I use to sit out, but I can also, if the weather is bad, I can put the chair right here and I can hang out inside the van. Um, but usually if I'm inside the van, I'm either sleeping or uh, reclining in the uh, bed uh, reading a book. Um, this is another thing that the passenger van has is these attachments for child seats. Um, and it happens to work perfect for having a little lantern right there. Um, the curtains are uh, ones that I made many years ago when I had a Volkswagen Eurovan. And um, I repurposed them. They don't fit perfectly, but they fit for, very well. Um, probably the one thing that I would have changed is how I hold them up. These alligator clips right here for uh, with a magnet attached to them work perfectly. Um, I really wish I had more of them, but the store was out of them when I went to go back to get more. Um, instead, I'm using these magnets, uh, but they don't work out quite as well. I just got one magnet over another magnet. So you can see I have a magnet just kind of attached to the, to the metal there. Um, if I bump them, they fall off. What I should have done is sewn in the, uh, this magnet here should have sewn in to the, to the fabric. I'll do that next if I want to make a change. Um, four. Also for storage, I've got five gallons of water right here. Fits pretty easily, but I can still move around. And then in the back, I've got five more gallons of water underneath there. Um, uh, I also have uh, access to my to my cooler to drain out all the water. And um, back here, I attached a uh, inverter that I got from Harbor Freight Tools and then a 
um, fire extinguisher. Uh, I had to do little notches right here to keep access to this um, outlet plug, um, but just used a hole saw on both the two by four and on the uh, plywood. Um, and then I got a space to connect to it, either a USB outlet or just plugging in um, this inverter. Um, you can see right here, the plywood that I used is a 12 millimeter, which I think is about a quarter inch. Um, yeah, so everything has totally worked fine. And uh, tonight I'll get the chance to, to take it all apart and turn it back into a passenger van. And hopefully I'll be able to go on another trip again. Uh, but so far this thing has worked out to be the, the perfect solo uh, camper. Uh, I've loved sleeping in it. Um, I haven't done any other changes, no vents, no insulation, no nothing. The sleeping bag has been totally fine. Uh, even in uh, nights where about 30 degrees. So um, hope you enjoyed it.